Uh, we had heard about the New World Festival for years, but uh, my wife and I are traveling musicians, so last year we get to come for the first time and uh, re are resolved to never miss another one. Uh, we like to see the Canadian culture, uh, the music that's still going on up there, uh, come into Randolph, Vermont. Uh, and we both have a love for French Canadian music as well. So uh, it's, I think it's just neat to have uh, some of this roots music uh, right here in Vermont for us uh, to be able to partake in. Hi, I'm Ray Greenleaf with Vermont Celta Company from Menden, Vermont. And we're here at the New World Festival at the Chandler Music Hall Center for the Arts in Randolph, Vermont, having a great time. Uh, one of the first things I noticed while I was setting up here, setting up the shop, was I had a group of kids practicing songs over here, and they're all laughing and joking and having a good time. And um, really their introduction to the arts at a young age that they'll carry through their whole lives. And um, that was my first impression of the New World Festival here, and I think that's really great. Hello, my name is Patrick Sharp. I'm Kyla Skate Browning. And I'm Sophie Rowe. And we're the Moore Road Fiddlers. Uh, we've all been coming here for a long time. Yeah, like I think I first I think came when I was eight or nine. So many years. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like part of it is like getting to meet really like lots of other musicians and be in an environment where it's just like constant music. And yeah, and like once you're done playing, you can just go relax and watch everybody mm -hmm. else, which is always good. Yeah, and watching people is also really nice. Right. Last year when we came in here, we got to see uh, Ten Strings and a Goat Skin, and as soon as the fiddle started, we felt like the paint was coming off the walls. So. Uh, we have six children, we love to bring them here, and uh, the spirit's good, the people are good, it's a real special festival. So we're here at Ten Strings and the Goatskin. Uh, we come from Prince Edward Island, Canada, and we're here to play you some, some musics. So this is a little set called Mick and Dave's, after the guys who taught us the first tune. So that's not very inventive at all, is it? Just, anyway, hope you guys enjoy.
song, it's about a young English soldier uh, who, uh, who gets on a boat. Uh, he joins the Royal Army and he gets on a boat and he, he travels across the, uh, the Wild Atlantic uh, to North America to fight the French and the Huron in the, in the Seven Years' War, or the, uh, the uh, French Indian War, as you guys probably know down here. Um, so, uh, so what happens is that uh, he gets uh, shot, and that's no good. Um, Setting this up to be a real serious song. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> anyway, no. So he he uh, he he uh, he is mortally wounded on the field of battle, and this song, in fact, is is his letter that he writes home uh, to his family, telling them that uh, he's he's just kind of very confused. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know who he's fighting or for what he's fighting for, and uh, and he's telling his his uh, big brother to uh, to look out for you know his family. So it's uh, yeah, so it's starting to set off on a. That's real depressing, you know. Uh, just, but it's. But that being said, it's a beautiful tune. So, uh, so hope you guys know. This is called the Uniform. I can just give a little more. To 
me that much is clear. It's true. settings so we're all uh, we all do the Franco Franco Anglo thing and uh, we're gonna perform for you a, a French number from the west coast of, uh, of Brittany oh no west coast of France uh, the province is, is Brittany and uh, yeah so it's kind of one of the seven the Celtic nations and and while we were touring in, in France this year uh, we played Brittany and we played this song for them they all seemed to really like it um, it was uh, it was made really popular back in the 1970s by a group called Trian, who were like kind of a... Really? Oh, you're literally the first person in North America that we have met. We'll meet you afterwards. Um, anyway, yeah, no, so Trian are a fantastic, fantastic kind of like... They were like kind of a psychedelic traditional Breton music, and, and they were all all sorts of weird, um, but they, they made great great music. And uh, and in the end, um, we were we were touring in Brittany. We passed through, and, and everyone really liked the song. It was very well known. And and then we went to the south of France after we were on the on the coast, and, and we're like, oh, the southerners, you know, they if, if the Brittany people like this, then they'll love it, you know, because they don't know anything about this stuff. Um, and then we played a festival. It was kind of like a like a like a Celtic music festival, and um, right in the south of France, um, where there shouldn't have been like any ties at all. And we were we were all bloaty. We were on our high horses for this one, and and we presented it. And we're like, yeah. And it's we did exactly that intro, and we're like, yeah. And Trian, they're a bunch of crazy old guys, and they all, you know, really psychedelic and and, and just weird music and stuff like this. And maybe, and I mean, we were trying to be polite. <laughs> Um, it didn't quite work, and, and it turns out that the band following us was, was Trian. Um, they were like... <laughs> so, well, they were, they were closing out the night anyway, yeah, so... So, uh, so we were just like, we just got in the van right afterwards and left. <laughs> yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, so this is a tune called Malivon du Gette, and it's about a young man who, uh, who goes off and he, he tries to find a wife. And it's possible he does it in, in the creepiest way imaginable. He just goes into town, picks one, kind of points at her, and then runs at her. And, and I mean, I don't think that would work no matter what century you were born in. So. <laughs> anyway, this is called uh, Madre Mon Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
just starting to make history. The three folks on stage have been making musical history for a long time. A couple members of La Bortine, Soliant et les Charbonnières d'Enfer. It's a uh, very honor to uh, New World Festival to welcome Le Bricot dans la Vie. Oh. 
Treat. Let's give a great New World Festival welcome to Frontless. I feel like Vermont music, I really feel like Fork Deer is, uh, it really epitomizes it. So uh, naturally, I, like, I was like, I think we should play this tune. And so these guys are like, great. You don't get to play for like the first two minutes though. <laughs> it's my favorite start of the tune, personally. It's the most in tune I play in the concert.
Well, it's nice to be part of so many of this festival where we're just kind of like wandering around from awesome piece of band music to another band that's playing another cool thing and then you open another door and there's a band playing something cool over there. You guys found that today too? <laughs> happy, happy meanders. Um, we're gonna do a tune here that I wrote in the month of June. And at the time it was new, so I called it Trent's New June Tune. Um, and then it's not new anymore, and these guys know my name, so it's just called the June Tune. Thank you. 